Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, I'm actually going to show two again. And the first one is a turn on the gas and light the pilot for a tenant that is renting from a company that I don't do work for because they don't like my prices and I couldn't turn on the gas. So um, that's the first one. And the next one was a check and advise. So um, stay tuned for that. I think you'll find them both enjoyable. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful December day, a week before Christmas. There's not a whole lot of calls. This is one of them. Customer called and said they replaced his heater and he needed his gas turned back on. But um, he's renting here, so I feel like if his gas was turned off in the process, the people who replaced his heater should be responsible and I might tell him that. Let me see if it's, what kind of valve do we have? Oh, and it's locked. I'm sorry, that thing's been locked off for a while. Can y'all see that? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Had it turned off. You had it turned off. Right. Is this the only heater you got? Yeah. You know, so it's getting cold, man. <laughs> it's getting cold, so I How long that heat been off? Huh? How long has that heat been off? The gas? Uh, yeah, the gas. It's been off about, here since about the first of the year. Since the Maybe. first of the year. Yeah. All right. So his office is turned off right now. Yes, sir. I'm going to go around back and see if we can't dig it out and turn it on, okay? Yeah, when All the right. utility company gets here, if I can find my screwdriver. What in the world? I, I was going to say I, I can dig this out and try to make it easy for the utility company. Let me go find the screwdriver. <clears throat> I got no idea where my screwdrivers are. I left one of my screwdrivers at the, at the house because I'm hooking up a dryer and I, in the dryer, vent piece that goes through the wall, the outside was all mangled. So I, I didn't hook that up and I, uh, I left one of my screwdrivers there. All right, when the utility company gets here, maybe they can unlock it, will I? We'll see. All right, we got the gas turned on. Let's go in inside and see if we can't get it lit up. I'll show you all the first thing in here. This valve. turns so I can't turn it on or off I'm gonna have to turn it off outside all right I had no gas flow in there so it's stuck off there's no way to turn it off or on but because that valve is messed up and it's gonna need some more work ain't no way I'm leaving this turned on <clears throat> And this is a rental company that don't like to use me because my prices are too high. So um, I'm just going to call and advise. All right, so we're on to the check and advise. The check and advise is normally when an insurance company hires me to go out and look at a house that somebody has just bought and immediately makes a claim on. So that happens to be the case on this one. So I stay tuned for that. This is a new house purchase. Y'all can see the gas has already been turned on. But they said it would not ignite. So, um, I got no screws up here. <laughs> uh 
Oh my word. This gas is on. That is on. No, no screws in that one either. All right, let's go in and turn it on and see what happens. Oh, y'all got it turned up all the way to 90. Let's see what happens. I got a code that is a replacement negative pressure switch two flashes I ain't gonna read nothing there Unplug that. If y'all are familiar with these systems, um, they uh, they are engineered in a way so that if there's any leakage in the heat exchanger, this ain't gonna work. The negative pressure switch will not work. That's the way they're supposed to be, but these are engineered with very tight clearances. That is not closing. That's just wonderful right there. I don't know what, what kind of vacuum that's supposed to be pulling, so it's hard to test it. Normally it's written right here, but that's been replaced. Try to jump it out. And see what happens. So 
solid light. size I don't think this is wired up right I'm watching I'm watching the little codes over here just went clear. Alright, the problem was they were using those two spades and as you see one is normally open and one is normally closed. This up here is common. So you put one on common and one on normally open. Yeah, I can read that. I think y'all can too, if you can see that. I'm gonna call and get specs on it and see if we can not adjust that to be just what it needs to be. I chose this spot because in the background right here, there's a cormorant drying his wings. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I enjoy making them. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one.